painting is, is called Sometimes and the inspiration for it was kind of what it always is in my pictures is there's an initially a, an autobiographical kind of element which is then, I, then it kind of develops into something else and the autobiographical part it comes from the Lead Belly song Sometimes I Live in the Country, Sometimes I Live in the Town and I have spent a lot of my life sometimes living in the country and sometimes living in the town. And what I've noticed about that picture, it's in three parts. So it was actually very, and it's like this one here is in four parts. It's like, it's easier for me to maneuver, like rather than a, a big painting. There's, I, I have made some big paintings. They need to be like light. That's on, on um, plywood and that's not light. I think that picture actually started out as a horizontal, totally different painting and I kind of sanded it off and went vertical. So there's another painting underneath that. On the left, there's a country image, which actually is from a place I spent a lot of time as a child, but it kind of symbolizes the country for me. And then the right is actually the Ian Potter um, in the NGV. The, the thing about those two images, it's also like the private versus the public and like the studio versus like the, you know, this place is like the Ian Potter Melbourne University as well. It's like where there's those two, like where the places where the work is made and then the place where the work is shown. And the table is also like a symbol that I often work with, which is, um, it's like where the domestic and the, and the kind of interior life as opposed to the external world and how those two worlds inflect each other. And the table also has this mixture of domestic things and the studio all in together, kind of pushing each other, like jostling for space. The other thing is that like, sometimes was also had a kind of feminist thing for me, which was like that there's not just one time, there's not just Greenwich Mean Time, there's other ways of measuring time and there's also like psychoanalytic time, which is like where the past can kind of erupt into the present.